Hello everyone, this is Doom Kid. Welcome to the Jamal Jones judging session. <laughs> I've got over 50 submissions to this project. And, uh, you know, people have been working on it since early January. Uh, it's this 20 year contest celebration. This first map is by A.H. Senkarian. And I think that's how it's pronounced. And it's War Heaval. And so, you know, I could waffle on and on, but I think if you check out the thread, you'll get the idea of all the different resources and uh, we'll see all the different amazing submissions people have made for this contest. All I've really done is gone through in the editor and make sure that they're vanilla compatible beyond or very, very close to the point where we can easily fix it afterwards. Um, you know, so anyway, let's just judge these as they come. The winner is going to get 300 Australian dollars. Second place is going to get 150. And every contestant is going to get my undying love and gratitude. So look at this. We start with amazing Doom Cube. An imp on the toilet. Look at him, he's sliding around. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to restart this with comp level two. I just realized. I have been playing. All the playthroughs I've been doing on my channel, you see the comp levels and stuff. Now this is going to sound silly, but an old fart like me, the only reason I've ever downloaded source ports, I mean, I'm going to be dead honest with you guys. The only reason I ever downloaded source ports was to play online. So, uh, yeah, I don't know the whole comp level stuff very well. Of course I've learned it since I need to enter comp level two here. And back in the day, you just booted it up. You went file, and then you put the, you know what I mean? That's how I always did it. Or if I was playing on a server, the WAD was already loaded, so I didn't have to worry about it. And that's all I ever did until like the last couple of years. <laughs> I used Zandronum. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm rambling already, but that's what I do. If you're tuning into this channel, you expect that. Here, now we've got comp level two. Anyway, I only, you know, in the last five years, which for me is pretty recent in my Doom, Doom timeline, is when I learned, see, look, he's not bouncing around anymore because it's vanilla now. I added comp level two to the extra, extra parameters. Moral of the story is I never entered anything other than file and, uh, you know, the wad name and that was it. So yeah. And source ports, I, you know, I never knew about all that. But these days I really like to play with pure vanilla compatibility. So there you go, I started the stream with a big old race. See, this is why my channel is not uh, bigger than it is. But maybe maybe people like that. The, the homey, um, you know, feeling of just telling you how I'm feeling right now and all that kind of stuff. Of course, it's we're all here for Duke. Make no mistake about it. I haven't watched that many of Decino's playthroughs, but his professionalism just amazes me. I don't know how he goes through it without ranting about the stuff around him. <laughs> I was feeling and, well, back in the old day, I played this one. <laughs> anyway, so far, I just want to go back. I've, I've noticed all this when I played it before, AH, so don't feel. Look at that. There's a cigarette butt in there. There's a couch or like, you know, an outdoor bench. These fans, of course, I couldn't. We ran out of animating textures, so they're all, all the fans are out of order. But still, the watchtower, there was the toilet and the boat back out there. And look at this detail here, the, the nukage leaking into the water. Like, there's so much to appreciate in this map. All right. I just want to make sure I actually elucidate the stuff that's relevant here. So, uh, we got a little vent that leads to the, you know, break into the facility. Got little potted plants. That Coke machine is inert, but... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's one thing I love throughout the Rowdy Rudy series, and of course, which includes his older brother, Jamal, is uh, the Coke machines, the, re the recurring Coke machine. I didn't put any in the first one. I really should have. But still, I, uh, <laughs> I really like that. Good combat, good detail here. 
All within vanilla viz plane limits, no crashes. I haven't played Doom for the last week. I've been out of town, I've been working, I've been doing... God, I've been doing... See, this is, I'm going to ramble with more personal stuff. I hope you don't mind. I've just been doing all kinds of stuff, and it feels good to actually sit down and play, doing like... Uh, all the time I spend on Doom World, 80% of that is on my phone, like away from my, <laughs> away from my house. It's so nice when I'm actually just sitting here, Dooming. I know every Doomer who does, you know, feels this way. It's like, <laughs> can't wait to get back to it. Spend 80% of the rest of your life doing other things and then 20% of it either playing Doom or making Doom maps. Maybe I'm just the, it's like, I'm, a, I'm such a fiend for this game. I can't help it. I'm not that good at it. I never became a pro. I'm pretty good in deathmatch, but... I specifically told people, hey, don't make it too hard or uh, I'm probably going to blow. Now, it's going to be funny. Some of these submissions, by the way, I've, you know, I've taken a peruse to make sure they all worked, as I mentioned before. And I have a feeling some of these maps are going to kick my ass. And it's going to be funny. It's going to make good content, I think. Rawness is going to somehow know the uh, correct path to take at every level. And they're going to be in the chat going, Doom Kid, oh my god, you're backtracking. And I'm going to be going, why? It's just the natural thing. I've actually considered playing with IDDT, though, to avoid that happening too much. That is assuming Rawness is still subscribed and even wants to watch. It's been so long now. Now this, the music, by the way, I gotta mention, the DOS boot MIDI, one of the first wads I ever played as a little kid was a mega wad called Doom to Die, that was originally compiled, I think, in 1997, although I wouldn't have gotten my hands on it until 98 or 99, that was when I first started, very first, you know, work, worked out what a wad was and started playing them. As a little kid, of course, it was help from my dad and my brother, but yeah. Um, this looks like a reference to Galaxia. The music is the same, and I swear it's been a, it's been a good eight or nine years since I actually played Galaxia. I didn't have it as a kid, but I, I discovered it as a in my late teens or something like that, and I thought it was really cool. And I'm sure that most of this is, or not most of it, but there's a good deal of reference going on there. It's a great subway station. I mean. This is the work of a talented mapper, by the way. I just want to make that clear, in case I haven't. And the pacing is so fun. I'm just able to, like, you know... Oh, this is a great... This would be a good opener if it continues. Like, no, I'm only 40... I'm 10% of the way through if the monster counts to go by. So it could get hard as fuck, but so far... So far, it's pretty chill. So much Doom Q here. Look how well made these computers are. And I checked, it does not crash the game with those planes. Oh. Phew. Alrighty. We've got a box here with some shells in it. Look at this, man. This little, this looks like a radio. Ooh, did I just do something? Not sure. Man, this is just really nice. This is nice work right here. Oh, did I? Did I just move? Huh. The potted plants. I mean, look at that. That's that is impressive work right there. That is very impressive work right there. I like this base. The UAC had all their bases decked out like this. You'd be like, oh, this is not, not a bad place to work for. You know? The Hellspawn invasion, sure, but... 
At least they were nice to me before that happened. That's so cool. I mean, this is just... The effort here is phenomenal. Anyway, I don't even know if I finished this thought earlier. Doomed to Die has this MIDI as the Map 30 music. And it was not long after I started playing WADs that my dad got the Ultimate Doom, which was where I first found Doom 95. It made loading WADs easier for my kid self. You know, rather than trying to do shit from it. Actually, I, I, a WAD I played called Hellrun came with a, with a batch file that loaded hellrun.wad and night.wad. So I was on Windows 95. I don't think it was 3.1. I'm pretty sure it was 95. And I just renamed every wad to uh, Hellrun and Night. And if the wad didn't have two files, I would just duplicate the file and rename it to Hell. So it just loaded the same wad twice. And that was how I played stuff for like a year until my dad got Ultimate Doom with Doom 95. I had Hellrun.bat, and I would rename every wad I downloaded to Hellrun and Night.wad. Oh boy. The kids do find creative ways to get around these limitations. Because, like, my brother and dad knew how to um, go online, and how they knew how to play Doom, and they showed me that, but they didn't know how to load mods. So I just luckily, like, Doom to Die came with a batch file that automatically loaded it. Uh, and Area 51 and Hellrun, all, all, they all came with batch files, so I didn't have to worry. And once in a blue moon, when I'd find one that didn't, I would use that little trick. And then Doom 95 came along and made everything easier. Now look at all this. This is definitely some uh, E2 Tom Hall business. And I like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have taken his attention off the other guy. Should have waited till right after his attack and then started landing. Wasted those shells. Damn, another vial? Alright, yeah, see, this is not an opener. <laughs> this is a midway through the map, uh, wad map. Wow, cool. Oh, shite. Man, I should not have done this. I haven't saved yet. Oh, wow. It's been so long since I've played. I forgot about saving, jeez. Gotta get back in my Doom Groove. Back in the Doom Groove. That's what I need to get. Play into him with a slightly more powerful chain gun. Just a teeny bit buffed from the vanilla one. And a better sound effect it goes a long way. There we go. Oh! Let me save before I make another mistake like that. Man, Jamal is all messed up. You can see him on the bottom there. Whew, there we go. A little bit better. Still mad though. Oh, damn. That's gotta be a secret. Oh, no, no! Shoot! Oh, wow. Okay, wait a minute. There we go. I mean, why waste the ammo, right? <laughs> that little imp dancing in place. 
What happens if I fall in there? Oh. Okay, nothing too bad. Just gives me a lift out. I know that there's cells in there for when I need them. Damn, I took way too much damage. Oh my god, look at all that blood. Okay. A health bonus? Whoa. That was very cool voodoo scripting, I believe, is what that was. Wow, that was nice. Ah, I feel nice and refreshed. Take a drink, speaking of. Alrighty. Where to? Where to? Ooh. Oh, damn. Damn, that was a waste. I'm trying to get as many... I'm not necessarily trying to get every tracer to hit the Cyberdemon, just to spread them among as many enemies as possible. Cool. A little cell cache. What's all this? I press any of this? No, oh, they're just little boxes. Little boxes of some court uh, of some sort. Of some court. <laughs> That's not hard yet. Damn. Took way too much damage. Make the backup save in the slot too. Cyberdemon fight, but I don't want to lose my progress. Oh well. Oh well, we'll take these things as they come. Ooh, that was cool. I didn't see the full thing, but damn, that was cool. Big explosion in the wall. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Lots of attention to detail. Why didn't I check behind me before opening this door? Oh hell, oh hell, yeah. Got a little too careless there. Uh -oh. Careless play there. Let's see what's out here. <laughs> Certain death, it seems. It's... Ooh, we're in fighting. Dang, I always notice just a second too late. Oh, I ate that. Like, mmm, caco snot. Kill that bastard. He looks like the kind of guy who will mess up your day. I need 
need to get those health kits. I really do. Either that or find, you know, figure out this Megasphere secret. Assuming it even has anything to do with this area. Oh, it's right. <laughs> oh, what a dummy. even that tough I'm just playing crap right now but it is it's still fun this is a fun you know design damn couldn't get out of the way in time should have used that pillar gosh I always realize the strategy is a little bit too late like when that file set me on fire if I'd stood here probably would have been fine Keep going. I'm still pretty well off. I mean, 152, 151. That's pretty good. Cool. Do have another cell pack. Cell pack far back. Got a cell pack far back, so step back. <laughs> if anyone knows the band Clutch, they'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyway, this is cool. I like this canyon area. Music fits this level very well. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm very, very pleased indeed. Oh, of course. I should have known that's what this did. Feels very 3D despite, or, you know. Feels like there's multiple stories. I mean, it is 3D. There's a floor below me, a roof above me. I'm moving around on X, Y, and Z coordinates as can clearly be seen in the top right corner there. Look at that. Oh, look. Look at that. Movement on three axes. Sorry. I've beaten this dead horse into the ground, but damn. What are you doing? Why am I just goofing off? So, look at this, man. This is such a cool... Look at that. Ping pong table. Man, I mean, this detail is exquisite. I don't know what other word to use. Well, that sucks. Hold on. Hold on now. Fast pinkies. Dang, I wasted that. Oh, nothing's on the movie, huh? I should have included that texture from Duke Nukem of the girl with some indescribable white object moving in her. <laughs> I have no idea what it even is. Can't remember. I mean, it's been years since I've played Duke at this point. Love it, though. I do love it. I love it in the same way that I love uh, a lot of other old Doom TCLs. Oh, someone's in there? Come on. Get out already.
Wow. Shower. I don't want to waste that. I will remember that it's there. Oh, it's not much of it. 36, I mean, come on. It's not much of a waste. This base is so cool. Armor, I will keep that armor in mind. Now I have a blue key. Lots of health. So I do have a good amount of supplies back there. Green armor and full health restock if need be. Lots of ammo. Rest in peace, Arachnid. Poisonous area. Bastards. Begging for a rocket. Yeah, I got a splatter in. Whoa, man. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. I should know that by now. I got hit by some tracers from each of those. I'm gonna rename those save files in a minute. It is map 01 right now, so it's okay. War Heaval by A.H. Syncadion. So far, it's been a thriller. Look at all this detail. I mean, look at these little rockets here, man. That's cool. So many intricate little details. Looks like we're a bit past halfway through the map. If the monster counter is anything to go by. These are such... Look, what is this? Are these test tubes? That's amazing. What the? I mean, I'm, 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 my jaw is dropped. Why am I the one judging this content? <laughs> the mappers are all fucking better than I am. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I'm so happy to see a classic detailed mapping with good classic thrilling but not like ultra punishing gameplay it's the kind of stuff that I as a doomer it's the stuff you live for you know what I mean or me anyway now the way I chose these maps is I uh, you know sorted the list in alphabetical order by author and this happened to be the first one on the list. Now, that is a um, 
that's a shame for all the other 50 something submissions because I know that all of them are great but man I, I didn't have a chance to really properly check this one out it's just so my speed and then again you know I'm not hard to please I have a feeling that a lot of these are gonna you know be jaw dropping and um, yeah boy this big lift I don't think I have any rockets back there, so... I know I have a cell pack, which I may end up grabbing. And some med kits. I'll need the armor very shortly, too, it looks like. Unless there's gener unless that generous and gives me something else. Plenty of room to keep making all these mistakes that I'm making. Oh my gosh, gotta kill them all! no chance to negotiate with them. I know the game would be much better if you could talk to the monsters, but that in, that uh, review is a total troll job, by the way. The person absolutely knew. They did it to get, you know, they did it for fame, and it worked. Edge Magazine. Ooh. Okay, now I know what those uh, radiation suits are for. It's, uh, it'd be toxic in there. Man. See, that's good BFG use. Did you take out a whole wave? Make sure that the trajectory between the ball and you is, you know, is right to catch them all in the tracers. I try my dance. I'm not the best at it, but I'm pretty good. I got, a, I got a pretty good understanding of how it works. Look at this. This is like a smelt or something. Like, or, or, you know. This is really cool. Whatever they call them. A, uh, a forge. It's very, very cool. I wonder if those are all one sector. They don't sound particularly loud, so I'm wondering if they are. check the yellow and blue rooms. I'm probably missing something. This facility, man. Oh, of course I am. I'm missing what's right before me. Stuck on a friggin' branch. Phew. Disconnected train cars, is that what these are? Oh wow, what the heck? Oh wow, this is so cool. Gosh, man, this is just cool. I, I can't believe. You know, when you see the map like this, you don't really know what you're looking at. And, uh... I ran the Vizplane Explorer. There was, you know... Every map... I mean, if there was, like, a couple of tiny spots where maps were, like, 130 Vizplanes, I was like, eh, we can get this ironed out after the fact. But, yeah. need to go and <laughs> I need to go get that armor get that cell pack pretty sure I did everything I need to do oh no there's that toxic area oh, I have to handle that later okay
Grab the armor. Sorry, they're running water upstairs and it's really loud in my mic. So I'm, I, I had the mic muted for a while. That's why I was silent. It looks like the game audio is decently loud enough to be heard though, so it should be fine. That is a nasty looking side view right there. I'm gonna have to just leave it on. Oh, there we go. Perfect timing. Now I can focus on killing this cyber unit. <laughs> Ever since Valkyrie Force, there was I think it was when I was playing three as a company. <laughs> He said it sounded like my head was releasing steam. <laughs> oh boy, that was funny. Come on, Slaggy, shoot him. He's hitting the base of the trees. Because their hitbox is only like 8 or 16 units high or something. You can hit them if you shoot low enough. Oh, there we go. A little bit in fire between those guys. Forgot about that stash. Lots of little points to remember throughout the map. Part of Doom Skill, remembering what's left. Let's finish this already. What? Who's behind me? What a little bastard. Look at that rocket up there. Back to the city. Okay. That's right. Need to go and get the stash. Uh huh. Plenty of health left there. Maybe I won't lose it all. If I do it the proper way. Gosh. I really thought he'd be down by now.
kill him. Sorry I'm not talking, I'm just really into it. Oh, what the heck is going on? I think I was supposed to get these guys in the head fight or something. I didn't notice there was a spider game in there. <laughs> I saw that little possessed marine get splattered just then. the right ammo. Just enough to clear a small path if I need it. Oh, here we go. Oh, the bunker. the enemies are dead. Look at this. This is incredible. This room is huge, but still looks good due to the lighting. Man. Oh, too many wasted balls. I'm not going to keep doing that. <laughs> Oops. Ah, oh, that's what I need. Oh no! Neither of them died. Pretty good bang for buck. I'm sure that one of these boxes or something, there's secrets around that I'm missing. Whew! Fair bit of ammo left. Huh. What's this thing in here? Nothing, it's just a dead end. Oh, wow, I really needed that. Thank you, dead man. Got a second lease on life. Or new lease, whatever they call it. You know what I mean. Oh. Finished my whole bottle of water. content with that. Wow. No, that's not going to come for free. <laughs> Gosh, they're so far. Okay. 
which is should have just ducked in here. have to trust the helipad in a second. Uh-oh. It's scanners. Oh, there we go. Like this edge here. That was really cool. One more. Oh boy. Helipad, classic helipad. Definitely, I'm hoping that there's been plenty of uh, helicopters in the chat since we've seen this, you know. Assuming anyone still watches me, that is. I have been gone for. Dude, you know, I'm, I'm just kidding when I say that, but. On the real side, um, I was amazed that the thread for this contest has over 400,000 views on Doomwall. It's one of the most viewed threads in Wads and Mods. I'm amazed. Like, there's so much interest around this project. I'm just really grateful. Where did I go? Where was the... I think the toxic area was in here, wasn't it? At least I can get 50%. Oh, yes! Yes, all items. I did miss a couple secrets, though. But, man. Alright, I guess I can leave here now. I believe the game did give me an exit to go through. Oh. Oh, whoa, well done. Well done. Oh, wow. Phew, what a cool marathon. That was War Heaval by A.H. Sankarion. I'm going to go and take a little break. I uh, There's no demos that are relevant, so I'm just going to leave it on the scroll. It'll only be a minute. Because uh, that was quite a... Uh... No, actually, screw that. I'm going to just have a... Have run around. You're gonna get a sneak preview of uh, map five. If I, I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes. That was great. Very good map. I'll be back.